Today we're talking about anchoring, what it is, why it might be useful for singing, and some quick and easy ways to access it. So anchoring is a term coined by Jo Estill and is taught in her vocal method. And really it's used when we're singing things like opera or we're belting, when we've got high intensity singing and we need a bit of support. So we've spoken about support muscles before being the lower abdominals, the muscles of the core that help to support the airflow and help us manage our breath throughout the phrase. With anchoring, we're engaging the bigger muscles in the body so that the smaller muscles around the vocal cords don't have to work as hard. So when you come up to the big note, the big bit of the phrase, you can engage your anchoring. It will take the pressure off the voice. It will keep the breath free. And hopefully the voice can just fly out while you feel strong and supported. If you do have any problems with the back or the neck or any alignment problems, just check in with a healthcare professional or a teacher, someone you're working with to make sure if these exercises are appropriate for you. So there are two types of anchoring, torso anchoring and head and neck anchoring. So we'll talk about torso anchoring first. So let's do the exercise and then you'll feel the muscles in action. So bring the arms out to the side, bending the elbows. Try and keep the rest of your alignment nice and in line, feet ground then imagine you've got oranges under your armpits and squeeze down. It's likely you'll feel some muscles in the back engage here. So the muscles that this action engages are mainly your lats, the latissimus dorsi in the back, but also the quadratus lumborum and the pecs as well at the front. So if you do it again and maybe just sing a phrase or shout a, hey! you'll probably find that actually the voice just flies out. If you were in the street and you had to catch someone's attention because they were about to, I don't know, get hit by a bus, hey, the body would naturally respond and you would naturally anchor. But you can switch these muscles on just maybe at the start of the phrase or before the note that you're about to sing and it would take any pressure off the voice. You might feel the sternum lift ever so slightly, the shoulders draw down as you engage. And remember, it's not gripping. Yes, we use the word tension, but think about the muscles contracting instead, engaging. We need to get the balance right. If you can't walk around the space and vocalize whilst you're anchoring, then it's too much effort. Another way to find this is to bring the elbows into the sides with the thumbs back. This can just be a nice stretch to open the chest. And then if you just pull them back slightly, thinking about the arms um, externally rotating, you'll feel those muscles switch on as well. Of course, you might not want to have this position on stage. So once you've worked out how to isolate that engagement, those muscles, you can anchor whilst you sing. <laughs> Let's talk about head and neck anchoring next, which can be quite subtle. Again, we're thinking about just contracting, engaging those bigger muscles in the neck, the palate, the back of the head, so that the muscles around the larynx can work freely. So let's try and access this. We'll bring the hand behind the head and then keeping the neck long, just gently press the hand back, uh, sorry, press the head back into the hand and the hand into the head. You'll probably feel some length, the SEM muscles at the side, maybe um, the muscles at the back of the neck lightly engaging. Again, you can try your, hey, and see how it feels. That felt pretty easy. <laughs> and then you can take the hand away and try and get used to that engagement. Let's think about the soft palate now. We don't have much sensory feedback in there, but it's the muscles around the palate. If you open the mouth and imagine we're going to bite into an apple. So take a breath in and think about finding open space. We call it retraction, being that space inside. And then press a uh, bite down on the apple. Again, you might feel that engagement. Lastly, the one which works best for me, um, but some people can't do, is flaring the nostrils and instantly we feel all these muscles switch on and engage. So with these exercises, it's finding the thing that works best for you. What's the best, easiest way to access it? What feels good for you? Remember, it's light engagement, finding the balance. So try these exercises out, but I really encourage you trying them with a teacher in your vocal lessons. Thanks for watching Quick Singing Tips. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more.